Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We've got a terrific matchup tonight. Anticipation has been building in this campus all day long as we'll see a squad out of the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the fourth ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. just outside the goal line. And the coverage team gets the return to the ground. The Oregon special teams don't do the offense any favors with that return. There's the star running back jogging out of the field. He is trying to add to his huge highlight reel curve. Chris, honestly, I don't think we've seen too many running backs who can duplicate what this guy can do on the field. He's got everything. Vision, speed, power. He can diagnose a defense in real time. I'm really excited to see this kid play. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game. Boy, nice job on this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Football comes out. It's a turnover. Great play by the defender of knocking the ball away to give his defense a chance to recover the football. Man, the quarterback has to have that internal clock, that situational awareness, pocket awareness, kind of feel the pressure, and most importantly, when you feel it, take care of the football. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Gets made on the out route. He made the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. And the Buffaloes will come to the line to crank up the tempo. pass the catch is made got space open for the end zone here touchdown buffs this quarterback on fire today oh just outstanding execution here by this offense the offensive line gives the quarterback time and the quarterback's anticipation was on point puts that ball right in the money the receiver all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown And they'll set up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0 open scoring. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner will be brought down. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down down if you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss you throw the offense out of whack and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down nothing doing in that play the big d tackle there for the stop well 
that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field on that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. Now it's fourth down and long. And the Ducks will line up to kick it away. It's a rough drive for the offense. Punter comes on to boot it away. And the ball is away from inside the 10. He'll call for the fair catch here. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. It's a draw to the back. Jukes to get free. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. First down, looking to throw the football. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. It's a quarterback keeper. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. And the Buffaloes line up with a first and goal. Back to pass. It's Sanders. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Defense makes the tackle with the clock running. That'll probably be the final play of this first quarter. And so Kirk Colorado has the lead. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Motion now from the tight end. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only did they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. Here we go. Third and goal coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And with the PAT, they take a 14-0 lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll return it from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Let's it go quickly. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. You bring him down, but he makes the three-yard line. That's a solid gain. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, guy that can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws. And Justin Herbert, of course, enough said we see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. The Ducks will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And at first down, they go right back to him. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I tell you, this defense continues to just be physical into line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to throw. It's Gabriel. Looking right. This one caught. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. The offense tried to catch the defense napping by getting the ball to the big tight end. They weren't fooled at all. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Ducks will have to punt this one away, and he'll kick it away now for the second time. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. And that will bounce and roll out of bounds, so no return. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Receiver makes the grab. It's a solid gain, moves the ball out to the 28. Chris, I cannot believe we're still in the first half. This guy's already got a couple touchdowns. Now he's adding to his receiver total here by picking up another first down and more yards. How aggressive do you get on first and 10? Back to throw, it's Sanders. Makes a quick catch. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots and the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. That completion sets up a second down play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Buffalo's 
will line up to put it away. Running it back, it's Johnson. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And that powerful boring of offense retakes the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion and an open man downfield. The ball is just about to get to his receiver. Then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. Offense facing a second and ten. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Defense is coming after him. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. Got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. Defense stops him short of the markers, and now it's fourth down. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment before this important play. The Ducks will line up to boot it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And here's the fair catch by the return man. A little over 20 seconds left here in the first half. He'll come up on first and ten. He'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pulls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Second down after the incompletion. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He brings it down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final in the half. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Dropping back. It's Sanders. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Shotgun is probing the secondary. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Just time enough for one more play in the half. the shotgun here's an inside give and a timeout is called to talk strategy close game here as we approach halftime the buffaloes will send their punt team onto the field we're going to kick it away for the second time on the return it's johnson and he'll be brought down and that will wrap up the first half of play and that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. And through two quarters of ball, it looks like we're in for another fun one here today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. And the Ducks will kick this away to begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. We're 
first play of the drive, they look to the right. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards, and they stay ahead of the sticks. And the Buffaloes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Complete. Breaks the tackle. Now he's got room to run. Tackle made after a big game. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Back to throw. It's Sanders. And the quarterback finds an open target on the crossing route. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. Here's that defense shifting again. And the Buffaloes lining up here on first and ten. Looking to throw again. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. So after the incompletion, it's second down. in the backfield. It's Hunter. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Of all the receivers to lose track of, it's this guy, one of the best receivers in the entire country. Lucky that wasn't a score. First down here for this offense. He'll hand it off. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. They'll run it here. Oh, what a move. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Are these the type of runs that begin to wear down your defense psychologically? Already have the lead, come out with a nice big gain, and this defense is thinking, oh no, here we go again. Really nice statement here to get this second half started. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Quarterback pulls the ball, it's a keeper. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, that's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. And the Buffaloes hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Touchdown, Colorado. Still no answer for this offense. So the offense flexing your group and stretching your lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. 
extra point. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Turn starts from inside the five. He's tackled at the 21. That's when the drive will start. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. That's a nice stiff arm. Doesn't produce much. Just a small gain. will line up chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter and so Kirk Colorado has the lead so after three quarters of play it's a pretty solid lead let's take a look at our game stats how we got here So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. But to the air, it's Gabriel. Snags the quick throw. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Ducks come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. First down, looking to throw the ball. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Getting set. Here's second down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Bringing pressure. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Ferguson. Run out of the 46. Good enough for a first down. Hey, that's a great gain right here for these guys. It hasn't been a good day, let's face it. But I love the fact that they're still fighting. In a drive like this, who knows what it could do for you. Maybe get points on the board. Maybe not able to come back in this game. But, man, it could really help you down the road as far as showing what your character is about and how you're not giving up. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. you got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Looking to throw yet again. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. Tremendous toughness here. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. Simple throw. All the yards after the catch. Explosive play by the receiver to score. Just a dynamic, athletic playmaker. As simple as you said, Chris. Just throw him the football. He makes a catch. And then all the fireworks are after the catch. And this defense just unable to corral him.
planning have to try the extra point. PAT is good, makes the score 21 7. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember, the ball is inbounds, and the clock keeps moving here late in the game when you're trailing. As a defense, you got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. you got all three to use, but at what point are you going to start putting those into play? And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. To throw, it's Sanders. Incomplete, but a late flag comes in. A lot of contact. Passing the defense. 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 Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Second down after that run on the previous play. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Linebackers making some adjustments now. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the handoff. Stopped right there at the line. No game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we'd see a timeout. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The Buffalo starting a new series here on first and ten. They'll run it from the gun. Got the first down, now looking for more. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. It's victory formation. Quarterback will kneel down. Final score, Colorado, 21, Oregon, 7. 